Now, occasionally, every once in a while, we purchase something that was cheap and it turned out to be a pretty decent purchase. It held up for a lot longer and performed the way it was advertised. But more times than not, the old saying goes that good things aren't cheap and cheap things aren't good, like auxiliary lighting for your vehicle. And so the question of, should I buy the cheap lights I found on one of the big online retail stores and save some money, or should I save up some money to buy the more expensive brands of auxiliary lighting? Well, let's see. First, we're gonna have to find out what it is exactly that makes the difference between cheap off-road lights and high quality ones. To do that, I broke it down into three different categories. We have quality, performance, and reliability. For quality, I look at two different things. How good are the components and products being used and how good is the manufacturing process? Performance may be a bit easier to measure the difference as in most cases, we can visually see the difference between how well the lights shine or how crappy they are. And reliability. Are these lights, are they gonna last us for years and years? And if something does fail, how is a warranty and does the company have the customer support service to easily get your lights fixed or replaced in a hassle-free manner? And those are the types of things to consider when you're trying to decide which route to go and what your extra money is actually getting you. See, recently we had just brought on Morimoto Lighting and more specifically, we're just introduced to their brand new four banger LED pods and collectively as a team, we're super impressed with these. No doubt that when I found out what the price was that I had some kind of reaction, I don't know, like an allergy or something like that. But come to find out, I was diagnosed with what is known in the medical industry as sticker shock because these little four bangers aren't cheap. Hence the reason as to why we wanted to do this video. See, Morimoto says their line of four banger LED off-road lighting delivers unparalleled performance through advanced optics and optimal fitment with a compact footprint and application specific brackets. The application specific brackets, that's an easy one, but let's dive further into their unparalleled performance through advanced optics so we can compare what I had said earlier, quality, performance, and reliability. I think it's easier to acknowledge why cheap lights are cheap or inexpensive. In most cases, they're built overseas using a high volume, mediocre manufacturing quality control process, subpar electrical components and housing materials. And, and guys, that's housing of the light, not the housing materials that their employees live in. Although you gotta wonder with how cheap some of this stuff is. But anyways, it's a speed versus quality to equal volume type of production instead of taking the extra time and investing the extra capital in resources in order to create excellence from the initial concept all the way through to the packaging. With Morimoto, there are no off the shelf guts inside of some fancy housing. Every element of the four banger TIR, which is short for total integrated reflector, is proprietary and designed from scratch. They do this by using a highly professional and sophisticated 3D software program called LucidShape. LucidShape is the best in class optical design software built specifically for automotive engineers and is the number one tool in creating the absolute best integrated light reflector design that's out there on the market today. Light reflection performance is just as important than the actual performance of the LED that is being used in getting the most optimized light output possible. You can have the most perfect, highest quality, highest output LED filament in the world, but if the reflector is shit, it's gonna look like you have one of the cheap off-road lights purchased from the clearance aisle at one of the big box stores or online retailers. It takes a combination of a high performing LED reflector and a lens to maximize the light's fullest capabilities and using lucid shape to design the reflector is the best way to do that. I'm confident in saying that just this program alone probably adds a bit of financial chunk onto the price of their lights and for the quality, performance and reliability gains from using this software, I'd say it's definitely worth the money. To get the absolute best light emitting diode available to match the performance of the reflector, Morimoto sources these from world-class producers of premium light emitting diodes, Nichia and Osram. I think I said those right. Both companies are the sought after companies of choice by major name brands across the globe who are looking for the best of the best when it comes to LEDs. 
And to keep the LEDs running at optimized temperatures, Morimoto uses another highly sophisticated CAD program called SolidWorks. SolidWorks is used to tame the thermal dynamic outputs of each one of their lights. Keeping the lights cool is gonna help them last a lot longer and is critical with these types of powerful and focused LEDs. So from the quality of the design to the manufacturing process and the components used to the performance of the reflector and LEDs, the reliability you get from engineering the lights to stay cool, the housings being made from high quality die cast aluminum materials and a company that stands behind their products, it starts to add up pretty fast when you start looking at why these lights are so worth the extra money. And guys, these four banger TIR lights have three beam patterns as well, wide or fog, spot, and a combo thereof. And we just received a set of the Morimoto four bangers here at the office. So we're gonna be doing an install and comparison test video on these little badass lights where we'll be covering a lot more specific information about them to get a closer in-depth look at them and at the same time, showing you guys the actual difference between a world-class, high-quality, high-performing off-road light compared to the cheap lights found online. So definitely make sure and click on that subscribe to stick around for that video. In the meantime, we do have these Morimoto lights along with a handful of other variations of models of Morimoto lights right on our website at Trollbuilt Off-Road. Plus, we'll have that link posted in the description below. And guys, as always, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trollbuilt and we'll see you guys out on the trails.